today's session is our rehearsal for a recital next week and it's lots of classical duets. These pieces are often a snapshot of a larger opera and um, we sort of need to convey what's still going on while still making it make sense in the short term as well. 18th century music in general it suits young voices so much, uh, so well and they um, I mean, I guess the, the life expectancy was so low that a lot of these roles were created by singers in their 20s and, and it, it does fit them like a glove. We're meeting for the first time, some of the duets we're singing for the first time together, so yeah. we get to know each other. And get with, to know what Ian... What Ian would like, so we're all on the same page in the recital. Yeah, That's I want to know about these, because I feel different every single time. Oh, no, no, yes, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I think... Those aren't exactly my... Uh, my no, <laughs> I think quite late. I don't, I don't know whether it's just because it's an Italian image, but you know when you have a, a pizza with lots of mozzarella and you, and you slice it and then you, you serve a piece, mm. the way the cheese just sort of strings, it's not, it's not a clean cut. It should be like that. Yeah. So anything except on a beat. There is a wonderful um, shared sense of sort of discovery and going on a journey together. And when you when you do have people doing these wonderful roles and these wonderful operas for the first time, as youngsters, they bring so much energy and open mindedness and vibrancy to it, which is great. I think every Definitely. new person brings something to the table, absolutely, depending on who they've worked with previously and um, how they've looked at things, how things have been set in different productions. Mm. I think it can really throw different light onto characters that you yeah. had quite a um, set way in your head. Ian's amazing at that. He comes from a very musical place, but it's also very word-driven and, um, uh, and just very intelligent mm. suggestions. It's a real yeah. pleasure. Still do the dynamics inside. That's fine, that's fine. But that was that's better. Really that was but do you know there was something really interesting that happened there, which is a sort of default setting. It's so yeah. hard not to. The German became incredibly beautiful in a. It, it made yeah. it, you were already thinking the Italian. And yeah. you can <laughs> just think much more matter of factly. Mm. Oh, in Italian. Maybe. Oh, in Italian. Well, this is what I'd say. Yeah, because uh, what I got that time was it was, it was already beautiful. Is that in Italian they would sing it, and, and therefore you didn't have anywhere to go. Yeah. I see what you mean. potete ritenerlo per voi. questi non sono mai donne I suppose it's like a box of toys and you've got your toys that you like playing with and you bring it along and you sort of share them around and like something like Lego, you build new things and that's what it is and it's learning to sort of accept things that Sometimes accept you offers. knock it down. Yeah, and so, <laughs> <laughs> none of that happened today. I suppose it's it's building something, creating something together and it's the sum is Great in its parts. Yeah. For the best way to put it. The more questions you ask and the more you push yourself, the more you either undo preconceptions that are not helpful or firm up ideas that are half formed, but actually the process of exploring them helps to cement them. And then sometimes you do have real, you know light bulb moments where you suddenly, I mean in fact we had one today with just one line of recitative where it just suddenly made sense to all three of us and it's so easy just especially with a piece like Figaro where you just sort of feel that you know it, you take lines for granted. Ultimately we're working on something like Mozart which has been around and is esteemed and this amazing thing which a lot of people know but it's the gift that sort of keeps on giving and the nice thing is that when you're working with Ian you feel like you're discovering these marvellous things with him a lot of the time and he knows this stuff inside out and is a real expert on it and has such a passion for it so you're not only sharing passion but then you're you know you're uncovering these new layers and levels every single time and I think that's something really special. <laughs> Good. We're getting a sort of feel, I feel I'm getting a feel from him, mate. Yeah.